Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Simply Fit. I'm your host, Sandy White, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. And we have got a powerhouse for you today. Ms. Deborah Keeson is going to be on today and she's going to be giving you guys a lot of wonderful information. So stay tuned. Let me just do my thank yous to WYTV7.org for allowing Simply Fit to be on their platform for the third season. Guys, we're on a mission to save 1 million lives by encouraging individuals to live a Simply Fit life through health and nutrition so that they're able to overcome suicide and depression. And with your help and their support being on the platform, that allows us to reach our goal that much quicker. Please go to WYTV7.org. Check out all of the wonderful things that we're doing in the community. And while you're there, make a donation so you can continue to see wonderful segments like these as well as the other ones. Okay, so with further, without further ado, let me introduce Ms. Deborah Keeson. She's an internal nutrient nutrition researcher and award-winning author of the award-winning Whole Person Integrative Eating. And this is a breakthrough dietary lifestyle to treat the root causes of overeating, being overweight, and obesity. And this is the first program that's scientifically proven to treat overeating, overweight, and obesity with the four facets of food, and that's biological, spiritual, social, and psychological nutrition. You guys should get into that more. Um, she's also a health and medical writer. She specializes in preventing, reversing um, obesity and heart disease, and she served as a nutritionist on Dean Ornish um, Med's first clinical trial for reversing heart disease through lifestyle changes the results of which were published in the Journal of, um, of the American Medi uh, Medical Association. And she served as the Director of Nutrition and Cardiovascular Clinics in Europe, and she, uh, as well as on the Board of Directors for the American Heart Association in San Francisco for the last 10 years. So welcome to the show, Deborah. So let me ask you this, which way do you like your name enunciated? <laughs> I prefer D Deborah. Deborah, D Deborah. Okay. <laughs> that is correct. So, how are you this evening? I'm doing absolutely wonderfully and so looking forward to talking with you. Oh, we're, thank you. We're in a parallel universe. Yes. And you got a lot of good information, but I want to ask you before, because I'm like intrigued with your specialty. So before I get off track and all in my own little world, let's tell the audience what um, inspired you to write the book, Whole Person Integrative Eating. I have been working in nutrition as a researcher for many years. And what keeps surfacing is the deep struggle that so many people have with what to eat, but also overeating and their weight. And I'm sure everyone listening knows the, what I'm talking about. And the other side of that is, as I'm speaking with you right now, Sandra, about 50% of Americans are on some kind of diet, which I describe as a regimented, restricted, way of weed eating that would go on and off. And we usually put the weight back on and we go back to what we were doing with our food. And I wrote whole person integrative eating because it's the real thing. It's not a diet. I call it a dietary lifestyle, a way of eating based on what to eat and how to eat that will help you overeat less lessons over eating and lose weight and keep it off. So now you've answered the question and I'm gonna ask the second part that you may want to add a little bit more to it. Cause I know with obesity, it's what you're eating, how your body is receiving and things of that nature. But I'm sure scientifically there are a lot more of underlining um, challenges that, you know, from the naked eye, you can't see. And you specialize in preventing and reversing uh, obesity and heart disease because they go hand in hand, you know, 
some, sometimes because you could be a small person and have heart disease. So let me not get too far. So can you kind of break down the specialties that you you are you specialize in, so we get an understanding of your specialty and the correlation to the book? Thank you for asking that. In terms of heart disease, I worked as the nutritionist on a physician's reversing heart disease program, Dr. Dean Ornish. He's a medical doctor and internist. And what Dr. Ornish did is he took the ancient yogic lifestyle and applied it to men with heart disease. And what he found out is that you can actually halt and reverse the progression of heart disease, the buildup of plaque and calcification in the arteries through life style changes alone. And that included a no fat added plant-based diet because people with heart disease for 500 million reasons have problems metabolizing food that's high in fat and high in cholesterol. So this was a no fat added plant-based diet. Stress management, which in Dr. Ornish's case included yoga and meditation one to two hours a day. Part number three is physical activity and exercise. And part number four is social connection. And what he showed published in the Lancet and the New England Journal of Medicine and the Journal of the American Medical Association is that you can actually reverse the progression of heart disease with these lifestyle changes alone. The, the other level that your listeners may find of interest is that the co-author of Whole Person's Integrative Eating is behavioral scientist, Dr. Larry Sherwitz, and he does research on mind-body medicine, behavioral medicine, how thoughts and feelings and emotions and stress affect heart disease and overeating and many other health issues that are food-related especially. So, and stress related. So the way whole person integrative eating links to all this is one, Larry Sherwitz, who is also my husband, behavioral scientist, Larry Sherwitz, he was Dr. Ornish's director of research for more than 20 years. So he really is brilliant at putting together these four seemingly disparate variables showing that together, you can actually halt and reverse heart disease. Because he's always asked the question over the years, well, which one's more important? And he always answers, well, which leg of a dog is more important? So they're all statistically significant and they all are related, <clears throat> excuse me, to reversing heart disease. Where whole person integrative eating comes into this is there are seven components of the whole person integrative eating program which show that you can halt and reverse heart disease with certain changes in what you eat, but also six behaviors linked with the overeating and being overweight. And all seven elements, as in the Ornish program, are statistically significant. And a dog doesn't have seven paws, but there's not just one that's more important. They're all interconnected and statistically significant in the world of overeating and obesity. And they're linked with replacing overeating styles that we've identified with the seven elements of whole person integrative eating. So that's how it's all interconnected in terms of heart disease and in terms of overeating and obesity. So are you guys, um, when, when you have folks come into the uh, whole person integrative eating program, are you guys seeing people online or are you allowing them to come into your office or they, or the program is totally laid out in the book and they just need to get the book? How, how is that working? Well, there are two levels. The program is laid out in the book. And what's important is this. One of the chapters in Whole Person Integrative Eating, which may I say won the award for being the best health book, gold number one award in the health category by Book Excellence Awards. And there is a chapter 
with a quiz called What's Your Overeating Style Self-Assessment Quiz. And what you can do with that quiz is fill out the quiz. It's got 76 items and it will tell you which of the seven overeating styles are the strongest trouble spots for you. And it will give you the specific eating behaviors and food choices you're making that you can look at clearly and decide where your trouble spots are. And when I've worked with clients, I always ask them to tell me where do they want to start. For example, a woman, this is a real woman. It's not just a hypothetical client I worked with, Barbara Kumara had been obese her entire life. It started as a teenager. And she called me because she became a meditation teacher. She was a businesswoman working in the IT world. And she gave that up to become a meditation teacher. And because whole person nutrition is about the effect of food on your physical health, but also on your emotions. You were talking about depression and suicide. Food has a huge impact on your emotions. I call it psychological nutrition. And the fourth facet of whole person integrative eating is what I call spiritual nutrition. Eating with mindfulness, gratitude from the heart, and also loving regard for food. And the fourth element, the fourth facet is social nutrition. And when you put all of this together, you can make a decision about where you want to start with which facet, which overeating style. Barbara Kumara started with aesthetics. That was her number one passion. She really cared about her surroundings. And so she decided to set up a aesthetically beautiful dining area in her small little apartment. And she used that not only to eat and enjoy the surroundings she was eating in, but it got her up from her lazy boy chair where she worked 10 hour days. Unlike the rest of us, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break from Simply Fit, the 21-day spring cleanse, and then we'll be back um, talking with Miss Deborah, and we're going to go a little bit more into the spiritual nutrition. That's one of the facets that she was going over. All right, guys, so real quick, commercial break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the second half of Simply Fit. I am talking with Miss Deborah, and we are talking about um, her book, Whole Person Integrative Eating. I want to let you guys know if this is your first time coming in, you didn't meet, get into on the first half, just give us a little bit, and you know the segment will be on, and you could just get the whole part. But for now, take the nuggets. I am going to be talking about the second part of what Miss Deborah was explaining about the whole person in a, well, it's not the second part, but it's one of the facets that she was talking about in reference to the whole person integrative eating. Uh, and that was a spiritual nutrition. Now that's one of the elements, but what do you mean by spiritual nutrition? Like a little more in depth. Asking that. I'm gonna give you a little story of the beginning which of spiritual nutrition to give you and your listeners context. I was invited to New Delhi, India and at the, to present at the first international conference on lifestyle and health to do a workshop. And one of the clinical cardiologists there was Dr. K. L. Chopra, who's the father of well-known thought leader and spiritualist Deepak Chopra. And I used to write for magazines and I 
asked Dr. Chopra if I could interview him for an article I was planning to write about yoga and diet. And he granted me an interview. And I opened with an open-ended question, tell me about yoga and diet. And his answer changed my life forever. He said, the Bhagavad Gita, which is Hindu scripture, which is all, more than 5,000 years old, he told me, espouses cooking with love. Again, that's in our culture today, 5,000 years later. And he said, we believe that your consciousness, your prana, your thoughts and feelings when you're cooking is infused into the food when you eat. And the thought wouldn't let go, Sandra. And I decided if Hinduism, a 4,000 year old religion, believes cooking with love affects food, again, it's in our consciousness and in our cultures worldwide, then I thought other world religions and cultural traditions must have figured this out also. So I went on what I call a nutrition journey around the world to discover what and how we ate for thousands of years. Nutritional science is only about 100 years old as we know it. And since then, we've been taught to eat by number, count calories, count carbs, and it's become normal to us. And the seven overeating styles Larry and I have discovered and identified are all new ways of eating, new normal ways of eating we've learned to worry about and have disordered eating about, in my opinion. Before nutritional science, for thousands of years, human beings turn to the Bible and world religions and cultural traditions and Eastern healing systems such as India's Ayurvedic medicine and Tibetan medicine and Chinese medicine for guidelines about what to eat. And that is what I researched. So here is the context for spiritual nutrition. When Larry and I spun around the millions of facts and knowledge and information that I discovered on this research on ancient food wisdom, we distilled it into seven perennial principles. And that is what whole person integrative eating is. Ultimately, it's the antidotes to the seven overeating styles. The three principles of the seven of whole person integrative eating are mindfulness, gratitude and loving regard. So let me tell you what I mean by that. And I'm gonna distill ancient food wisdom on these three elements verified by modern nutritional science because this is not just my opinion. Spiritual nutrition guideline number one is to bring moment to moment non-judgmental awareness to every aspect of the meal. We now have a huge fat all over the States, all over the Europe and in many countries worldwide with mindfulness, mindfulness, mindfulness. Well, let me give, which comes from Buddhism, ancient Buddhism, which has been around for two, 3,000 years. So let me give you some science behind this, why this or how this helps to decrease overeating and increase odds of weight loss. Dean Ornish, whom I mentioned earlier, who showed you can actually halt and reverse heart disease with lifestyle changes alone without drugs or surgery. He looked at the research participants in his study. And what he discovered is the ones who did the most mindfulness meditation every day were the ones who lost the most weight because mindfulness and being in the moment with food affects the way food is metabolized and ultimately your weight and other health conditions, which we will not go into right now. The second spiritual nutrition ingredient is heartfelt gratitude. Again, this is familiar to everybody. For thousands of years, we blessed our food. Many families still do, but more than many don't do that anymore. We're at our computers working. That's much more typical. And we don't take the time to bless food, but that has been in cultures for thousands of years. 
And one example of this is research Larry did on self-involvement because to bless food and from your heart, not from your mind, gee, thanks, isn't this great, chow down, but to really bring your energy from your head to your heart and appreciate the food calls for being other oriented. You're not counting calories and figuring fat grams and counting carbs. You're appreciating the food and being other oriented. And what Larry found is that heart patients who did the most self-referencing, who were not connected to other outside of themselves, not only had the most heart disease, but they were at higher risk of dying from a heart attack if they had a heart attack. That's just one of many examples. So blessing food and being other oriented and appreciating the food instead of your own concerns about life and, and counting calories and weight has the effect again on the way food is metabolized and ultimately your health. The third comes a uh, spiritual ingredient, comes back to what Dr. Chopra said that he as a devout Hindu believes that when you infuse food with loving regard, it has an effect on the food. And in turn, when you eat that food, you ingest the consciousness with which it was prepared. So here's a fascinating study by a researcher named Nerem, N-E-R-E-M, published in peer reviewed medical journals. He took some rabbits, might've been 20, 20 something years ago, took some rabbits, fed them a real high cholesterol diet to see if they would get clogged arteries, heart disease. And what he found is one third of the rabbits didn't get heart disease, two thirds did. And he didn't understand this and he repeated the study and went through every single element and step. And what he found is that the diminutive research assistant would take the rabbits in the middle cages, there were three tiers. She would take the rabbits out from the middle cages and hold them while she fed them. And those were the rabbits who didn't get heart disease. Wow. And he couldn't believe this, wow. Again, researcher, N-E-R-E-M, and peer reviewed medical journal, and he replicated this and found out the exact same results that somehow loving regard and eating while being cared for and filling your own consciousness with loving regard and being in that restful, peaceful, safe state of mind, again, affects the metabolism of food and ultimately your health. And in our study, it affects the way in which food is metabolized and your weight. You know, I whole heart believe, you know, when you cook with love, this is why you have kids all over the world saying nobody can cook better than my mom is because she's <laughs> doing it with love. And that that energy goes into that food. And just like you it said, it's absorbed into them. I, I, I love that. We are um, down to the last few minutes and I've been having such a wonderful time with you. But I want um, you to, to share with the audience the best way they can get started on the whole person integrative uh, eating program and how they can uh, get in contact with you. Great question, thank you. Step number one, please take the what's your overeating style self-assessment quiz, discover your seven overeating styles and your trouble spots. Step number two, decide where you wanna start don't be overwhelmed, F uh, figure out the one overeating style that would be help most helpful for you and that you would delight in. Only one of them is about what you're eating. And the other element to keep in mind, we have, I have WPIE, whole person integrative eating certified specialists who have gone through a 20 module certification program. These are all health specialists. Please go to my website, which is integrativeeating.com. Go to training, find a WPIE specialist. And if you want support and 
learn how to do this. It's the real thing. It's not a diet. It's based on the ancient meaning of the word diet as way of life, not something you go on and off. It's how and what we ate for thousands of years. I think we've got a little bit more time before we wrap up. I got a quick question now. The the program, this is a program that is it only for um, medical professionals or can anyone in the nutritional area get involved in? Because this is an actual course that someone can take. Y yes, or am I yes. incorrect? Yes, it's a certification course for health professionals. It is okay. not for, for anybody. Uh, it's for certified and licensed health professionals. Okay, so that's good to know. All right, guys, well, we have been enjoying our time with Miss Deborah Keeson. And did I say your name correctly? I've never asked you that if enunciate your last name correctly. Pretty close, Deborah Keston. Keston, Miss Deborah Keston. And she has been going over her book, The Whole Person Integrative Eating Program. So guys, this is really good. It's scientific. Is, is backed by science. Guys, check it out. Go to our website. Find out where you can get a licensed uh, health professional to walk you through these steps and get you going. And if you're just coming on, we are about to leave. We missed you, but we'll, we'll be able to get with you guys again next week at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm your host, Sandy White, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. And you can, guys, you, you can come back on and check out the segment with Miss Deborah Keaston. Did I say that right this time? Keston. Keston. This <laughs> Deborah Keston. Yeah, I want to get it right. Because, guys, this is some really good information. Go to the website, and we'll see you guys next week. Until next time. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Bye. My pleasure. Thank you. Mr. Happy Living here. I love good things made for good people. That's why I love Happy Living's online e-course. It's an eight week long deep dive into you and the inspired life you want to live. The life you were put here on this earth to live. The one that you and only you can live. Eight weeks of lectures and ideas and topics and supporting materials and powerful self-improvement tools all designed for you, all designed to help you create the tools and the power and the confidence you need to discover your purpose and to discover the life you were meant to live and to feel incredibly inspired and motivated to decide you will live your life to its fullest. It's all designed to help you create the unique and distinct philosophy of you and your inspired life. Go to happyliving.com, select our e-course, and save a hundred bucks with promo code WITV7. And for every enrollment, I'll donate another hundred bucks to WITV7. For $300 in about 30 hours, I promise you'll never, ever be the same again. Mm -hmm.